Hi, my name is Tony Christie and I'm here to talk to you about the Labyrinth Wisdom Cards, which is a deck of cards based on a labyrinth that I recently produced and it features my artwork and my writings. I've been working with the Labyrinth for over 10 years and for those of you who may not be familiar with the Labyrinth, it's an ancient symbol over 4,000 years old and it features um, one path from the outside to the centre. So the path leads sort of in a circuitous way into the centre and it's often seen as a symbol of our journey in life. So there are many associations and symbolism embedded in the labyrinth and these are often represent stages or aspects or incidents in our life. People are increasingly using the labyrinth as a walking meditation. Walking the labyrinth quietens the mind and people will often feel more centred and balanced after walking the labyrinth. One way people walk the labyrinth is to ask a question before they walk or if they have an issue they're looking for answers or insights into, they will hold that issue in their mind and walk the labyrinth and as the mind quietens they become more aware and more open then to receiving certain thoughts or insights into the issue or the question. The Labyrinth Wisdom Cards are based on that same principle in that if you have a, an issue or a question that you're looking for insights into, you ask that question in your mind and then you pick a Labyrinth card and you see what the Labyrinth card has to say to you. The cards are based on the symbolism and indeed the wisdom that I see is inherent in the Labyrinth. So there are many sets or subsets within the deck of Labyrinth Wisdom cards. For example, the classical Labyrinth traditionally has seven circuits and each one of these circuits can be associated with our chakras. And for example, the heart chakra is associated with love, so there's a card on the theme of love with a message and insights into that for you. Also, there are some other sets of symbolism. For example, the chakra labyrinth has a rose center with six petals, and each of those petals is often seen to represent one of the major realms, such as mineral, plant, animal, and so on. The labyrinth is also based on sacred geometry. It has many other associations, and in, within the deck of cards you will find different associations and even you'll find different labyrinths. There's 15 circuit labyrinths and there are even some new design labyrinths that I have introduced myself. The cards come in a box and they also come with a handbook which has 88 pages which gives an introduction to the labyrinth and some information in general about the labyrinth and then it features one page for each of the labyrinth wisdom cards. So while there is a title and a short message on each card, if you're looking for more information or more insight into the card that you picked, you can just go to the handbook and get that information. So in conclusion, you have a deck of Labyrinth Wisdom cards with 48 different cards in them. You have an accompanying handbook showing you how to use the cards and giving you further insights and information on the Labyrinth. These are all available online from my website, which is www.labyrinthwisdom.com. And uh, so please feel free to go there and have a look and check out the Labyrinth Wisdom Cards. Um, you can also contact me through that website if you have any questions. Thank you.